Okay, the wind has shifted and it is now blowing this way. So if I want to get that going, I'm going to have to move some of this burning stuff. Also, while I have some nice sticks over here, this stuff in the middle is actually burning too much. So it is definitely time to kick this around a bit and make major changes. Like move this nicely chart piece into that end and try to get something actually on fire over there to start that end up. Look at that, that's beautiful chart. There. So what you want is you want that end sort of at the edge of the fire so it doesn't get any more burnt. And you want the still good burning part there. Now that kind of stuff, that's perfect. That spear end, you don't want to do anything with that. You want that to go, let's say, off in this edge direction while Stick that somewhere on the edge where you actually want the thing and then put the other end into the fire. This has barely got going at all, so try to get it in under. I'm gonna have to move fast and get these pieces out, these big pieces out, so they don't incinerate everything small. I remember. I want that to stay like that, with that chart outside. And so I'll get that out of the fire for a bit and wait till I can move this in. And uh, there's some pieces over here that have barely got going, some of which are a little wet. And let's try to get the wet part right on top because that will slow the fire down a little. So I need to get some of these large burning pieces out and over to this end. So, I should have gloves for this, but as usual, I figure if I can do it without gloves, then a reasonable person can do it with gloves. So that's perfect. Let's get that burning firebrand over under here. With the, stick it right underneath, where it'll get right into the soil, and start to get that thing going. Well, that alone won't do it, but half a, a dozen of these will, and it will also stop overburning this part. Here, I'm going to start kicking that apart because you want this result. You want these kinds of mostly burnt things, but not totally. So, this fire has to be kicked apart or it will not serve its purpose. Now, those large pieces could also move at this point, but I can't really move them very easily. So, I can shove this forward, get the fire going a little more down in that direction. Get some unburnt section on top and take a firebrand like this and get that in where I need the fire to be. Again, the charred part can go in low so that it basically starts to integrate with the soil and just heat things up in there. Throw enough of these in and it will eventually catch, or I might have to go and catch, uh, get another starter for it. Don't be afraid to knit them in together. What you want is a big loose fire. So basically all of these firebrands need to move to the other side. Because this is more or less done the way you want. See, look at that. See, that's perfect. That does not need any more cooking. So, getting it under here. We'll start that end doing what it needs to do. Just get it under something dry. Uh. It's a bit tricky. You're always sort of risking putting the fire out by doing these things. But the value of this kind of char is huge to the garden. And uh, every time you move a piece like this, you are generating nutrition and bacterial home. So you really can't do it wrong. Worst case, you restart the fire. There's another nice brand. Put that in under here. Oh. 
Now I'm counting on the fact that by the time I actually catch this end, that end will be out. And I'll still only have a two by three meter fire. But that's what the hose is for if I make a mistake. Now this end, you see almost everything here has been fairly severely burned. And that means I can take out essentially all these nice torchy firebrands and stick them all in together under here. I have a lot more handling and that's going to go in next. Now that I've got the principle about right, well, it doesn't matter if you drop them, fire's only going to go out down there. Well, that seems to be starting. What we want to do is get a few twigs, throw the ends of them right in where you see fire. That will help the fire stay going in that key spot. I have quite a bit left on this side. So I'm going to start piling it on and do exactly the same thing on this end that was done over there. Fire. I should actually try for the middle and move up the middle, but that uh, seems hard to do. So I will make an attempt at it with the big logs, but I won't fight it too much because this is the side I have the kindling pile on. There's almost no kindling in the middle there, just the big stuff. So I'll keep at this and I'll update in a minute.